Hi besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, okay, today's video is so freaking exciting. I have been working on this video for a couple of days. And first of all, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Karma. Thank you so much, Karma, for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to talk about them in a little bit. But first, I'm going to tell you what this video is, how it's going to be. Since you guys loved my last book shopping vlog, I thought it would be a freaking great idea to kind of make another one but with a twist so the video is going to have like two parts so in the first part we're gonna go to another Barnes & Noble and maybe an Amazon bookstore which is so freaking exciting so basically a vlog I'm gonna take you with me see if I buy any books but the twist is that we're gonna buy Christmas books and specifically romance Christmas books. That's gonna be very exciting because as you may know already, I'm kind of obsessing over Christmas and like Christmas books. So yeah, that, that's what's happening. But um, that's what we're gonna do today. That's gonna be the first part of the video. And the second part is going to be all about online shopping and I'm gonna buy some books online. And yeah, so let's talk about today's sponsor. Okay guys, this video is in partnership with Karma, also formerly known as ShopTaker, just so you know. So Karma is an app slash Google Chrome extension tool, which is totally free and it ensures that you never miss a price drop, discount code, coupon code, for your favorite websites. And if you watched my 15 minute vlog, you probably know that I bought some things from Sephora. And I normally don't shop at Sephora because they're kind of expensive. It's more of like a makeup store, but for high-end products. So when I was checking out the other day on Sephora and I used the Karma extension at checkout for my Sephora order when I was going to pay and I actually saved $20, which if you know Sephora, that is a lot of money because that's basically one product, so it was so cool. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you how you can use Karma. It's super easy to download. Just go to Karma's homepage and click Add to Chrome and then Add Extension. Okay, so Karma has three main features that you can use. The first one is that when you see an item that you like, all you have to do is click the Karma button and then you can set your preferences. So Karma can send you a notification via email or mobile whenever the item goes on sale, has a relevant coupon code, or comes back in stock, which is awesome. So you can create lists and save your favorite items from different websites. That is awesome. You're going to see how I use it. Um, at the end of this video with my online shopping, but you're gonna see in today's video. The second main feature is the coupon codes. All you have to do is click the Karma button when you're checking out and Karma will scan the products for relevant coupon codes and that way you can save money. And lastly, which is so awesome, Karma has a cashback which basically allows you to earn cashback when you shop from selected retail partners and they will also donate a portion of your purchase to a good cost of your toy so that's that's great that's so great so now that black friday and the holidays are coming like this is the perfect time for you to try out karma and get yourself some good discount codes so if you want to download the karma extension the link is down below in the description and i hope you enjoy so now let's get back into the video let's go book shopping it's gonna be so cool i'm so excited you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already and make sure to stay till the end of this video let's go <laughs> And 
Okay, so I got two Christmas books and I got something else. I got another book that's kind of kind of being popular on TikTok. My makeup never stays put in my nose. And we're gonna go to a mall next, which has like an Amazon store, which that Amazon store has like a, a few books. Let's see if I find anything, but Okay, Bessie, so as you saw, I went to Barnes & Noble. It was so fun. I loved it. I went to the Amazon store, but it's only an Amazon store. It's not like an Amazon books store. So they did have books, but mostly the ones that I did like from that selection, I already have. So um, it was nothing new for me. But it was fun to go. I'm gonna give you a haul before we get into the online shopping because that's happening today. I'm actually filming this on Monday. So I went to Barnes & Noble on Saturday. So I'm filming this on Monday. And I did return the In a Holidays book. So I got another book, Christmas book. And as you saw, they actually have like a big table with Christmas books, which was so perfect. Love that. And I got, okay, so I got three. I got three books, two Christmas books and then one book that's not Christmas, but I had to get it because you guys have been going crazy about this book on TikTok and on Instagram and I'm like, what? I need to read this. Like, I'm finally hopping on the trend, you guys. You guys know that I'm always freaking late to trends, but not this time, not this time. Okay, so the book that is not Christmas related, but I just had to get it, you guys. You've reached Sam. Like, okay, so I heard about this book because of a bookstagram account. I don't remember the name of the bookstagram account, but it was basically a review. And when I read the review, I was like, what? I need to read this. Yes, it's sad. People's, people say it's sad. I don't know. I'm going to tell you, but my heart like oh my god i know i'm just going to like ball my eyes out but it's it's okay it's okay i'm just ready this cover this cover what this cover is so pretty you guys i'm obsessed i'm freaking obsessed so pretty okay so that is the book that i got that's not christmas related but now i got two books Christmas related. So the first one I got is Meet Me in London by Georgia Tofalo. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name incorrectly, but this is the book. And I had to pick it up because I actually read the back of the book. You guys know that I usually don't do that. If I like a cover, I'm just gonna pick it up. But I read the back of the book. It's giving. I'm ready, you guys. I'm ready. So that was the other book. Before I get to the last one, I just wanted to share that I think I'm gonna do Vlogmas 
but I'm gonna do my own type of Vlogmas because I'm still in school and I am going to be in school part of December until like December 15th so the reality is I cannot upload every single day I'm gonna go insane I'm gonna go insane so that's not gonna work but maybe I will do like every other day um, I'm planning on doing a lot a lot of reading vlogs because when I finish school I'm gonna dedicate myself to reading because I want to have that time to read so basically my vlogmas kind of thing are gonna be a bunch of videos on December and they're gonna be a bunch of reading vlogs for all of these books so it's gonna be a fun time I'm very excited about that if you want to watch vlogmas go subscribe down below Okay, the next book, Christmas book that I got from Barnes & Noble is The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. This is the book. We have the blue, we have the red, we have the green. Christmas. Okay, but I love the blue because it's not like a obnoxious blue. I know this is gonna be like a very, very like rom-com type of book. Like this is the type of book that's turned into a movie. <laughs> And the movie is so bad. <laughs> I actually was going to get this book if I didn't find it on Mars and Noble. And sadly, I actually asked if they had One Day in December, which is the book that we're going to read very soon for my book club. If you haven't um, entered my book club, you can enter it down below. And the last thing I got from Mars and Noble, which is not a book, but it's the cutest freaking thing ever. You guys, I just had to... I had to get this because on my last vlog, book shopping vlog that I went to Barnes & Noble, I vlogged that they had like a really really cute tumbler and I didn't get it. But I saw it again in the Barnes & Noble that I went to because I went to another like different Barnes & Noble. I just had to get it. Like it's kind of expensive, but you guys, look at this. So, um, that is the haul for Barnes & Noble and we're gonna get into online shopping. So I'm going to kind of record my screen on my computer and then we're gonna talk in here and that's how it's gonna be. So yeah, let's do it. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm sitting at my desk and we're gonna do this. So this is gonna be so fun. I haven't done a kind of like video like this is so long so it's really exciting and okay i'm going to start recording my screen so if you don't know if you have a mac because i have a mac and i discovered this i don't know if it's a hack or something people don't know this but you can actually record the screen on your mac which is awesome okay so you press command shift 5 the number 5 so command shift 5 and you just start recording which is awesome so the first thing that i'm gonna do is open well create a new wish list in my amazon account okay so we're gonna go to create a list and we're gonna put christmas create list so that's a new list it's private so the next step is to go to goodreads so I actually have um, a few books already in my cart. Let's open every single one up and let's put them in the new Christmas wish list. I am shopping for books on Amazon. When I can, I do go to Barnes & Noble or a bookstore or a local bookstore. But I've gotten a lot of comments um, telling me that it's not good to buy books from Amazon, which I do understand because Bookstores are what we love, you know? If we don't buy from the bookstores, there, there's not going to be bookstores, which I get it, and I do agree, but sometimes, like, for us international people who don't live in the U.S., it's not easy. Like, it's really not easy. We basically have a few online um, websites that we can buy books from because um, I've talked about this with a lot of other people that live in different countries. In my country, there are bookstores, but literally there's one bookstore. There's one like um, bookstore company in my country and they only sell um, books in Spanish, which is totally okay because my country, in my country they speak Spanish. But for me, I 
normally I usually don't buy books in Spanish, which is okay. So for us international people, it's it's freaking hard to find books in English and books from our favorite authors because usually um, the really big, really popular authors, example Colleen Hoover, she does have a lot of like, um, she does translate her books, but a lot of other authors don't. And they're mostly based on the US, which is hard, you guys. Oh, it's hard not to be able to buy books. And let me add another thing. If you get to buy books online, Amazon, Book Depository, De Book Deposit, I, wait, Book Depository, uh-huh, okay. The shipping is gonna be expensive if you don't live in the US. It's just a fact. It's gonna be expensive. So for me, I know this may not work for everyone, but Amazon for me is the best way to buy books. Okay, we are here in Book Depository. I cannot pronounce that name <laughs> very good, okay. Um, but what we're actually going to do is, um, I kind of have this system and I just start looking for Christmas books that catch my attention. And from there, I choose the book and I put it in Goodreads and I just start um, like seeing the reviews, looking for ratings and all of that. So that's what we're gonna do. As you can see, I have quite a few books already in this list. So I have Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey, which, which we all know Tessa Bailey, she's very popular. She um, came out with a kind of like Christmassy book, which is awesome. And it's already up. So that is one that I'm, yes, that's a one that I'm gonna get. Then is One Day in December, which I'm also gonna get because of my book club. I already did research on this book, um, voted for this book, it wasn't just me. So this book actually won. So One Day in December is gonna be the book, the book club book for end of November, the almost the entire month of December. Let's, okay, so this is another book, The Christmas Pact. So this one is from V. Keeland and Penelope Ward. What's Christmas? Did I do this right? Christmas packed? Yeah, here it is. Um, so it has a overall 3.7 Goodreads review, which is, I think is pretty good because I normally, I usually, I'm going to like not read a book based on its rating on Goodreads. It's if it's 3.5 or lower. Let's see, okay, <gasps> Larissa, oh my gosh, she, what? Wait, 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 wait a fucking second. Oh, I'm friends with her. <laughs> okay, I'm like, wait, am I not friends with this girl? Okay, if you don't know who Larissa is, what are you doing? What are you doing? Please go follow her, she's amazing. Okay, so let's read her review. Okay, she gave it a three, three um, rating. Okay, okay, okay. This was cute, but nothing too special. It, remind, it reminded me a lot of Holly Date on Netflix, them having the same name but backwards, Kennedy, Ry Kennedy Riley and Riley Kennedy was a bit too much for me since I'm not a big fan of too much cheesiness, but I get that it played an important part in the story. I enjoyed the Christmas vibes and if this was longer, it probably would have been a four star. But since it's only 148 pages, oh, thanks hat. Things happened really quickly, but of course that makes sense since it's a novella. Oh, okay. Quick read and a fun Christmas story. Just don't go into it expecting too much. That's a good review. Thank you. Thank you, Larissa. What I'm seeing is that it's not the best, but it's kind of what I was saying. It's kind of like a rom-com type of book. It's a rom-com. Like you can't expect too much of rom-coms. I don't think so. But, hmm, I mean, it's a short book, $8. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so wait a minute. I'm actually going to, every time I put a book into the Amazon wishlist, I'm going to look for it in Book Depository, just if you guys want to buy from this website, you guys can see if they have it, which I think they will because... Um, I kind of was looking into the website 
earlier and they have a lot of um, like discounts and like very popular books so let's see okay so um the christmas pact pact here it is okay they have it they have it wait okay here it is they have it it's 9.80 which kind of has a discount 19 cents okay free delivery worldwide you guys hmm that is that is a good thing but um they do like the delivery is really like late nine nine to 14 business days i think it's based on where you are window shopping yeah they do have window shopping you guys let's look for one day in december which i think they are they are gonna have because yeah here it is 15.39 and is on sale this is the carmen now extension i'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you how this works. So, I just pressed on this little blue thing here and it takes me to kind of a save product. So, what I do is that literally you just put, okay, so notify when you can do this. Like, this is so cool. Any price change, okay? 25% off, 50% off, you can confirm. And then add to list, you can um, create a list. Let's put Christmas book shopping. Okay, so then we're gonna press save, product saved. And it's basically a list, but it tells you, let's go to home here, um, my items. Yeah, okay. It's basically a list, but they tell you when it's going to be like discounted or something like that. And it's awesome. This is so cool. Okay, so I'm I don't know how to feel about the Christmas pact yet. Let's see. Let's look for Fool Me Twice at Christmas. Okay, so this is kind of has the same rating as the other one, but it does have fewer reviews and ratings. Fool me twice. I don't know if they have this. Let's see. At Christmas. Oh, they do. Okay, but w wait, wait, wait. Okay, what I'm seeing here, you guys. Um, so I do have, I think, like five Christmas books already. Like I have two at home and then I've bought, wait, I've bought one, two. I have five that I've bought. So maybe I'll just buy five more to have like 10. Um, okay, let's see here because if you are seeing this, um, on Book Depository, they have people who bought this, also bought, and other books. So, there's Always in December, which I have, and I'm really excited to read. There is A Perfect Hours that I bought in Barnes & Noble last week. Um, Holiday Swap, you just saw that I bought that. A Christmas Caroline by Camilla. Oh, it's the same author, Camilla. I get it. So, this is the second book. I think of the series. Okay, next one is the 12 dates of Christmas. Here it is. It has a 3.6 rating, overall rating, but it does have a lot, a lot of ratings. So it has 2,000 reviews and a lot of freaking ratings. So I think it's a good number. You guys, this is winning. Let's put this um, on top with the winning books the ones that are very interesting for now the next one is nick and noel's christmas playlist so it has a 3.6 rating such a cute friends to lovers christmas book okay okay let's put it in our list so i've been seeing this one the holiday switch going around so let's see yeah i'm seeing the holiday switch going around so let's see the holiday switch two rival co-workers oh enemies to lovers and co-workers that's good what could possibly go wrong cozy up with this charming holiday romance by tiff marcello lily santos is ready for i lila Lila Santos is ready for her last winter break of high school. Oh, it's a high school kind of thing. The mood is as cozy as a fuzzy Christmas sweater and she's earning extra cash working at the local inn, aka the setting of the greatest film of all time. Holiday by the lake while moonlighting as an anonymous, as an anonymous book blogger. 
That's so cool, wait. But her perfect holiday plans crash to a halt when her boss boss's frustrating Oh boss's frustratingly cute nephew, Teddy Rivera, becomes her coworker. Lila is a type A. Teddy is a type anything but Lila's way. Okay, okay, you guys, you know what? Let's put this in our Christmas book shopping. The Holiday X Files. Let's look it up on Goodreads. The Holiday X Files. Jennifer Peel. I'm so sorry this video is all over the place. This is what my research... What in the world? This is what my research looks like. I kind of get sidetracked with a lot of things. So, oh, you guys. This book is a four. A four rating. Um, once upon a time, people called me the holiday queen, but catching my husband under the Christmas tree with another woman kind of did something to me. Oh, like make me digitally crop him out of all our wedding photos and post them online. <laughs> Who knew that that post would go viral? Thanks to all the requests I received to do the same for other adulted partners. Okay, I started a new business called the Holiday X-Files. That's so cool. And I couldn't be happier. Well, at least I'm not unhappy. Then along comes my ex-husband's best friend. Oh, okay. Noah Cullen. Yep, like the vampires. Wait, what? Okay, you want me. You want me. Okay. Oh my god, it's a Kindle Unlimited book, you guys. It's a Kindle Unlimited book. <gasps> that is so cool. I'm obviously gonna get the paperback because this book just won my heart over. Like what? Um, the Christmas bag? Mm, no. And for me twice? I don't think so. Nick and Noel's? Not so sure yet. Let's see. Okay, so let's go back to the list and put add to cart to every single book. Order placed. It's done. Yay! Okay, so I got five books. Okay, besties, so um, online shopping is done, but the video is not over because I'm gonna do a haul when everything gets here and it's gonna be so cool. But yeah, um, it was so fun filming like that and just like you guys seeing what I do to like research and like see what books to buy online because it's really, I think it's really different um, from like going to a bookstore. I have like I feel like I have more time, I can take my time to like look at um, all the books because sometimes I feel like when I'm like in a bookstore, I have, there's just so many books that I kind of get overwhelmed and I don't like see every single book. I'm gonna get back to you in a few days when the books arrive and I'm gonna do a haul. Hi besties! So we got to the last part of this video and well first of all if you're still here well thank you for watching I love you and um, I wanted to thank you guys for 17k here like I love you thank you so much for watching um, it fills my heart that you're here and you watch my videos and you all comment and you're so nice and oh my god okay we're gonna do a very, very quick haul because this video is already very long, so. Okay, so I have 11 books here to share with you. These are all Christmas books. These are all books that are gonna be on Vlogmas. And I'm gonna do a bunch of reading vlogs, so let's go through them very quickly. Okay, so we have Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. Then we have One Day in December by Josie Silver, which is the book um, from my book club that's gonna be like for the end of November um, almost the entire month of December then we have the 12 dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless so cute this cover I love it then we have meet me in London by Georgia to follow very excited about these okay next we have the holiday swap by Maggie Knox this cover screams Christmas okay um, next we have A Season for Second Chances, again by Jenny Bayless. I did not realize I bought two books by her, but that's so cool, okay. Then we have A Perfect Hours by Leah Lewis, which I've seen a lot on Bookstagram, on Instagram, so I'm really excited to read it. 
hope it's really good. Then we have a YA book, The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. It's really short. Really excited. Okay, next we have, oh my god, I'm, I don't know why I'm so intrigued by this next book. And first of all, it's huge. Okay, so this is The Holiday X-Files by Jennifer Peel. This book is huge. Like, it's very tall. Um, but I'm so excited to read this book. I just feel like it's gonna be like a rom call me like um, very funny book. Okay, now I have two books from Book of the Month because I ordered these two books um, from like add-ons because I wanted Book of the Month books because they're so pretty. Okay, so I got In the Holidays by Christina Lauren. <sighs> so freaking excited. And I don't know if this is a Christmas book, but it feels like it's a holiday book. Oh, it's kind of like a New Year's book, but that's okay. I'm still gonna read it. This is um, This Time Next Year by Sophie. I'm so sorry. I, can't, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but so pretty. But those are all the books, you guys. Um, I'm so excited for Vlogmas. Stay tuned for next week. I have a lot of exciting videos and a lot of requested videos. So stay tuned. If you want to enter my book club, the link is down below. Don't forget the Karma link also down below if you want to have that Google Chrome extension because it's so cool. And I'm so excited that you're here. I love you guys so much. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload more videos. And I will see you Tuesday, I think. I will see you Tuesday. I love you guys. Bye. We are knocking out another year of new lives.